what's the crack lads welcome back to the channel so today we're going to be doing something a little different a lot of people have been asking me about the state of the game as it is for the offline player right now so we're going to be doing an english league we're going to be doing the ai event as you can see we've already started it we have unlocked a lot of the rewards <clears throat> so we are going to just try and work our way towards uh, the 500 eFootball or the yeah the 500 and the 1000 eFootball points. Look, I mean, they're giving you a lot of stuff free with this event, so we are going to do it. I'm going to give my thoughts in real time. I'm going to play two matches and then cut down the highlights. So I hope you guys enjoy it. It is a little bit for the offline fans. We will be back with Dream Team Chronicles quite soon, um, but I will see you guys at kickoff and show you the squad I'm using. All right, let's so we're into a match against the AI. Let me see what team. All right, put Robertson back there. We will bring on Maximin. Ruben Diaz can come in. I'm going to just test out a couple of players, lads, that I haven't really played with in a while. Uh, Diaz. Will I put Diaz in? No, nah, I'll leave Bundua, Bundia in. Salaba. Ronaldo's down. Nah, we'll leave it as is, man. We'll leave it as is. I'm happy enough with that squad. We've got Shazer in goals as well. And we have also... Can Diaz play AMF? I thought he could play AMF. All right, man, let's kick things off. It's been a while since I played against the AI, well, doing a video against the AI. Um, and I think that it's good to kind of sometimes just chill out with it and just see how the AI is actually behaving now with V2.2.3 because our V, yeah, uh, V2.3.2 is going to be coming soon, obviously. I just feel like with the way that the game is at the moment, I think that there is a big emphasis on... There's a big emphasis on pressure. There's a big emphasis on that PES 2021 style of play online, which is, you know, you have your meta formations. You've, you've, that's been there really since the, I think, the first update after V1.0. I think when v, when this game first launched, obviously we didn't have like amazing players and everyone wasn't like playing with 100 overall players, um, and that probably balanced the game a little bit. Oh, that's a nice play. Oh, come on, Mason Mount. I think that that's probably, that balanced it. Ricey. Hold on, Ricey. Ronaldo. Ah, bad ball. I think that balanced the game quite a bit, more than um, people probably realised, because the game still did favour that meta formation style. Um, but I think since the last couple of updates, I feel like there's only one way to play this game, which is to have three centre-backs and then a full-back, or else, you know, have your, your sub-tactic or your DMF kind of back as a third-man centre midfielder. I'm going to be doing a video on it, or a centre-back. I'm going to be doing a video on it, and we're also going to be doing a video on um, the kind of the top 10 world, the top 10 in the world, and their kind of play and their like team and the meta kind of analyze from them and how they're playing it and why they're using what they use. Because a lot of people ask me about them, them sort of stuff. Um, but I do think that the offline game can still be very fun. Maximin, I'm going to curl this in. There's one beautiful goal. I just feel like what works offline doesn't really work online. That's the biggest problem I have, is that, like, if I'm able to pass the ball around while still being pressured, but I'm good enough to break the press, I just feel like you can't really break the press online. Eventually, eventually, you will get, like, absolutely turned over in possession and a goal will be scored against you. And I think that, like, you know, there's only so much that people can continue to play possession and not wide gameplay if there is literally no benefit to doing it, you know? Whereas I just feel with online... I just feel that you can play possession and you can obviously, you know, play different ways. But that's that's kind of the meta there, what I just did there, is that like quick touch passing. It does work against the AI as well. I just feel that more stuff works against the AI, that you don't have to do it. And when you're not able to score like this, you do have to adapt like offline. I think that's the biggest difference. When you can score with the little one touch and goals or you're just not getting the chances um, that you usually would get. Oh. Um, I do think that you do kind of, you are able to alter it. You know, you are able to kind of vary it up a bit. Whereas online, you don't really need to alter your gameplay. You just need to continue doing what you're doing. You need to just continue beating that dead horse. And eventually you will get a chance. You know, you will get a chance opened up to you. Whether it's a mistake by your opponent, uh, because the responsiveness is kind of off. Or, um, you know, you just get a good chance uh, with a one-touch quick passing. But like a lot of the time, even if you go down 2-0 or 3 nil, or if you go up 2 or 3 nil, I've been playing the game where I would be playing out wide, and I'd be able to kind of get my game, my game, um, flying it, 
I just feel like that, like, even if you go up 2-0 against your opponent and you're kind of thinking to yourself, right, my opponent's going to change formation, he's going to change tactics now because I'm 2-0 up and I'm very comfortable, like, nine times out of ten, they won't, no matter the skill level. They'll just continue to do what they've been doing all along. And, you know, because they know that if they get one goal with the quick counter, what a ball! Oh, see, I love that sort of stuff. Those chances that kind of, like, develop over time with the runs from the AI. And as for the offline game, lads, right? I know I've spoken a lot about online, even in an offline video, but as for the offline game, right? I do think that there is big potential there. I think that the AI still needs a couple of tweaks. Um, but, you know, you give the ability of being able to, whenever it does come, you give the ability of being able to edit kits here and have your, you know, your proper, really good uh, quality kits in. Oh, no. You give, your, you give your ability to have that and to put your own stamp on things with edit mode. And you get a, an actual offline mode, such as Master League or whatever Master League successor does become. Like, if you get that in and you're not just focusing 100% on the actual just, like, one-off gameplay exhibition matches that you are playing offline at the moment. Like, even these events. I mean, they're glorified exhibition matches against the, against the, um, against the AI. You know, I know it's on Legend difficulty, but, yeah, I mean, there still needs to be work. Like, you'll see there, like, Casemiro just won me that ball back there without any input from me. I, I feel like I understand the need for that because they don't have second press and stuff. But, yeah, for somebody that wants to learn the game... Um, and like obviously learn the mechanics of the game and then you know once you know them develop them in a better way that you're able to react quicker for your opponent you're able to read passes you're able to read patterns of play i just feel that they've removed a lot of that because a lot of the time people now just hold sprint and run in straight lines and even if you stop it by using every tool at your disposal in the game controls wise and position wise tactics wise i still feel like that there is some you know there is kind of oh lovely oh that's beautiful play there is kind of um there is there is kind of the issue there of like I don't think it's as balanced as it as it needs to be. Oh what a pass! Oh that was unreal. It's a little loopy pass up. And that's the thing, man, offline. I do think that like, you know, you can actually you can man, this this isn't like legend difficulty at all. This is super easy. Oof, that's so uh I do think that there is kind of there is kind of something there that if you did have that Master League offline of experience, or if you had something that you could really enjoy, then I don't think that like people would be just focusing on you know the gameplay or the lack of the lack of modes or whatever way you want to put it. Because I feel like at the moment when I'm playing this, like I'm dominating, but I'm not really spamming. If that makes sense, like I'm doing a lot of different breakdowns. I'm doing finesse shots. I'm doing, and you kind of get rewarded for it. Like whereas online. As I said in the first half of the game, there is no real point to kind of hold in possession. Do you know, there's no point because all that happens is if you hold possession, you've got 70% possession. Oh, mistake. Ronaldo! If you hold possession, you just completely try and like take away uh, an opponent's like style of play or you just try and like, you know, frustrate him into making mistakes and that. Like you could hold possession for 70 minutes and then concede from like one long ball knockdown that like you just your players switch off or your AI switches off or uh, you know you make a challenge and it goes through contextually through the player's legs that you don't have any input into so I do think that those sort of things need to be improved um, in my opinion yeah Mount oh look at that Mount with his head thrown up to the heavens complaining about that look at this look at this Mount I don't like that attitude look at this his head was thrown up he was stopped running and then he gets the ball into his pad so yeah, I do think offline, man, it is definitely, it is definitely fun. Um, I do think I would like to hear your thoughts on it as to like what you think. There's a, there's a lot of stuff I don't like. I don't like the contextual stuff, and I'm a, I'm not a fan of the the defending. You know, the defending is too easy, right? Uh, people that have accepted eFootball for what it is, even if they, you know, it's not their preference. Like, you know, I kind of always think, would I rather be playing eFootball divisions and you know doing player reviews and testing out things? Or would I, you know, when I come home from work or like I'm finished work for the day and I just want to chill out, would I like to kind of sink my teeth into a really kind of really good Master League offline experience where I'm just playing against myself? You know what I mean? I'm just kind of playing. I'm playing against myself, creating the stories in my head, um, you know, buying and selling players, you know, having those experiences where I'm playing an offline match, you know what I mean? Or I'm playing an offline uh, kind of like 
journey where everything is kind of like up to me i can decide who i buy who i sell i can decide you know the level of strength of my opponent i can decide um you know when i'm going to play how long i'm going to play in terms of like do i want to play five six seasons or do i want to like have one season and then start again i can edit all the data i just feel like it's kind of a mix for me at the moment because i do believe that i am enjoying football that's why i keep playing it you know i'm not playing it for any other reason um and i think the people that haven't really accepted oh you absolutely made bits of me rip ball see it's moments like that really nice kind of stuff i just feel like it's let down by the animations a little bit because it looks clunky um but in terms of the actual you know like control and stuff i think that that's fine ds see i just think that wingers like just look so much na more natural offline man they just look feel way better so i think once you get possession here it's all about kind of like first time passes and getting the ball in and when you lose the ball it's just about pressing to get it back as quickly as you possibly can that's that's kind of where online is at the moment um and i think i am going to be doing a video on that so depending on when i upload this video but yeah it's all about touching goals man that's kind of what i see from talking to people i don't like playing this way but then that's what works if you want to win and you want to get consistent division one results and get up to division one you do have to kind of play what works you know it's like call of duty using the guns there's no point using a gun that isn't as powerful or doesn't shoot as quick or doesn't have as many bullets there's always meta weapons and meta guns and stuff um that changes Oof. that changes every month or so uh, it's the same in every online game man. there's always things that will work either as intended to be powerful or not intended and it's up then to konami to balance that so if double touches has been abused you know if you're able to do a double touch um and multiple double touches people you know are able to abuse that and do tricks if the shoulder charge has been abused because it's not getting called which they've looked at in previous patches it's all about balancing it man and i just feel like at the moment that that meta kind of one touch uh frenzy is not balanced that's just my opinion uh, i didn't think that it would take this long to get a really good offline um uh, kind of mode going or to get an offline experience going and it's it's just a pity man because the essence of pez oh it's a great ball great goal it's a great second equalizer lads is he off oh it lost the ball with Cancelo. just switched off there for a second um rice is off though we might be able to push forward here let's see if we can get the goal to win it no i didn't want that pass um oh, oh. Oof. yeah it's just one of these things man that like you are going to always have issues with balancing the game but when you don't have an offline component or an offline event or an offline mode that is like retaining people and like keeps people interested uh then all eyes just become on the actual down like the stuff that's not working in the game that's kind of just what happens um so yeah i do i do think that they need to kind of look at it got the overlap am i on oh i thought it was on as well there will be a good chance at a time moving forward we get one more chance maybe come on martinez Oh, that's a bad, bad ball. Might work out, though. Scusi. Nah, it's terrible. All right, lads, we're going to end it there. A win and a draw. Uh, I just switched off at the end there, and that formation didn't really suit me. But, yeah, that is it for me, lads. Let me know what you think. Let me know. Just a little bit of a, a different type of match and a different type of video. A lot of offline fans have been asking me to give my thoughts on it, so hopefully I covered pretty much everything there. And if not, get your questions in, and I'll answer them in the comments. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you think of the game at, as of right now for offline fans. If you don't play Dream Team online, let me know what you think and what your hopes are for the next, uh, the next couple of months. So, yeah, that's it for me, lads. I'll talk to you later. Peace.